Good morning guys, welcome back to the video. We are officially back home. Man, yesterday was a day. Actually, I don't even know if we, oh, Katie did record it. Our... Yesterday is just a complete blur to me. Katie and I woke up super early. We had a bunch of work stuff that we had to do. And then obviously you guys saw that we were like, okay, you know, we're actually, we're gonna plan on heading home tonight. And then there was a huge crash on I-70. We were so close to being off I-70. We were like 10 miles away. And of course, a semi truck was completely like flipped over. So obviously, Hope that the driver's okay. Don't know anything about that. And then obviously while we were waiting in traffic, Addie threw up all over herself. Yeah, that was just a whole ordeal in itself. We went to the gas station, it was freezing cold outside. I was able to clean out the car seat, clean her out. We changed her, got her back in the car, got back onto the road. First thing I did when I got home was put the girls to sleep. And then the second thing I did was I took Addie's car seat out of the car because the last thing I'm doing is have the truck smell like throw up. Luckily, she only got it in her car seat. So that's why I was able to just take out the car seat and kind of just put it outside. We were washing that today. And now I'm actually at a car wash. We were not supposed to get snow for like another week, I think. It's like five or six days. And I'm not gonna let this stuff sit on the car because it's actually really bad for your car to just like sit in the dirt, especially if they like put salt down and stuff like that. It could just eat away your paint. But I'm gonna show you guys a little before and after because the truck is dirty. All right, so as you can see, She's dirty along the side of the truck. Look at the foot panels from just like us stepping in with our muddy shoes. All right, there she is. She's all clean. She's looking beautiful. That literally took me like maybe 15 minutes. If I would have done that at home, it would have taken me, oh my gosh, probably like 45 minutes to an hour, honestly, because the truck is so big. right now look at me oh my gosh today in the past few days have been a little wild we went up to keystone and spent a few days up there and also making the kids a snack evie's asleep making addy and ella a snack because ella is on antibiotics right now so we are getting some yogurt in the system wednesday night the night that we got home the kids went to bed and ella woke up about three times that night saying that her throat was hurting that she had a headache that her ears were hurting and so we had given her tylenol she slept in our room for half the night because she was not feeling well and she kept coming back in yesterday she was running a low-grade fever and still complained about her ears complained about her throat complained about her headache last night again was up multiple times feeling sick and needing Tylenol. She was in so much pain, like groaning in pain. So last night at 4.30, I should say early this morning, at 4.30 in the morning, I gave her Tylenol and I was like, she definitely has an ear infection. Like I need to take her to urgent care. So I made an appointment at a local urgent care for nine o'clock this morning, thinking that we'd be up in time. Well, we woke up at 8.30. So I had about 15 minutes from the second I opened up my eyes the second we walked out the door to get Ella semi-ready, get myself semi-ready and get out the door to go see the doctor. We did that. Turns out she has a double ear infection. Picked up her antibiotics. She has antibiotics and Tylenol in her system right now. To help with the pain and the discomfort, she was not okay this morning. She was in a lot of pain. We got it all going on around here today. So we just cut up some fresh strawberries and put it in the yogurt for Addie and then for Ella. Hopefully this will help with like tummy ache and stuff on the antibiotics. How are you feeling, Mizzy? You feel good? Do you want some yogurt? Yeah. I feel like I always at this time of year just want to get out and do things because it's cold outside and I'm like, let's go to the museum. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go see people. And we always end up sick every single time because it's like cold and flu season it's freezing outside everybody's sick and then i'm like we're staying inside for the rest of the winter until it's warmer outside and there's not as much sickness going around i don't know what we're gonna do girl i can't believe it's already march anyway like we are getting into hopefully into a little bit of warmer weather here soon that's what's going on around here we've been pretty much resting all day i've been cleaning up a little bit ben's at the gym and 
and we're just trying to take care of these sick babies and hope that nobody else has a double ear infection or an ear infection in general. Ella, how do your ears feel? Good. They feel good? She says that she feels much better, but she's also... My ear. Your ear feels better? When the doctor came in and looked at her ear, he was like, oh yeah, that's red hot and inflamed, is what he said. So that's nice. Is there blood in no, 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 no blood in your ear. I do like having kids that are of age to tell me what is wrong. That is very nice, having a almost five-year-old and three-year-old that can tell me what hurts on their body and where. Very nice, because when you have a little baby who's sick and upset, you don't know where the pain is coming from. That's a little difficult, huh? So we picked up some donuts this morning, right, Ellie? She, I got chocolate donut. Oh. Yeah, she wanted a donut very badly and then was feeling too sick on the way home and didn't want it. So now it's 1.22. We picked it up at like 10 a.m. She's finally wanting to eat it. And you need to eat your yogurt. So go ahead and finish your donut so that you can eat your yogurt, okay? Is it good? Yes? Yes. Addie now has her two top teeth. So I have my two top teeth. They came in. Yeah. Yeah. Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. We are trying to figure out what we wanna do in our office because in August, Ella will be starting kindergarten and we are full swing in the homeschooling here. We have been doing some like pre-K stuff with her but nothing too rigid. I know that for this August, I wanna be a little bit more structured and have more curriculum and things that we do every single day. I mean all of the kids, honestly. So I really wanna transform this room. The office has been a place for me that is just very chaotic and we don't really know what we're doing in here. Like it's an office, it's an arts and craft room, it's a school room, it's all of the things and I really just wanna nail it down as far as the furniture that we want in here and making it a really cool school slash office room. Like look, there's just a broom right there. We think what we're going to do is get like a big long desk area from this wall to this wall and then maybe halfway down here have it all be desks and filing systems. We think the cheapest way to go, especially because we kind of need something custom, to be honest. Yeah, with, well, I mean, nobody's gonna sell like a gigantic L-shaped right. thing with five slots. If we're thinking about the future, we could easily fit three kids right there. And maybe even like, I mean, this isn't like a... Oh, no. I'm not trying to like do anything here. I'm just saying that like we could fit four little. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, oh, Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> what I'm saying is it's not like if we got pregnant we'd have to add something else. Does that make sense? <laughs> You're so. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, come here. do you want to do homeschool with Mama? Yes. Okay. You want to do it too? What? That is so. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. What day? Oh wow! All right, there's one. There's one kid. <laughs> Filing cabinet. Sheesh, we got six kids. <laughs> one on a third kid. Yeah, Actually, I think we, we might be matched to max out of three. I know. You guys got to think it's not like we can go all the way to the wall because if it's like an L shape. I know, but you got to think like Addie is not going to be starting school for like another five years. I haven't meal prepped in a really long time and I've been really loving my salmon meals that I make. I just I just texted the number. Well just I texted text. like the auto confirmation where it's like, you know? Uh-huh. And um, they just texted me back saying like Thanks for confirming your appointment. I said as I could be there, I might be around 140. Is that okay? Ben has an appointment <laughs> to go get his cavities filled today. Yeah. And but I had not done before, so I don't know. I, I'm not like freaking. Is it? Out, am I? Like am I like freaking you out because I'm pretty freaked out about mine? No, I don't think so. I think it's just like anything dental. I feel like is just so uncomfortable. You know, like I'm never like, oh, like I'm gonna go to the dentist. This is gonna be fun. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Like even when they numb your mouth, like it's still like a lot of pressure and just like everything that goes with it. And the fact that my whole mouth is gonna be numb because I'm getting all four of my filled at the same time. I don't know why they're doing that because they because definitely said that they weren't gonna do that for me. <laughs> You're I'm so nervous. nervous. I know you are. Salmon is one of my favorite things to eat and it's so good for you. It's really high in protein. I'm just gonna eat this for the week. I am not a person who gets too tired of something. I don't have to have variety. In my life, I pretty much hyper fixate on something and I'll eat it for months before I get tired of it. So I'm not worried about me getting tired of eating this. The girls are sleeping. Ben is about to go to the dentist to get his cavities filled. My appointment is not until Wednesday, thank goodness. And, and then I also have an appointment on Thursday. So you'll probably hear it from me right now. I'm not that nervous, but you'll probably hear about it in the next few days about how nervous I am. So anyway, I'll let you guys know when I'm done. All my girls are awake. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Avery. <laughs> Forgot to show you guys, but my meal prep is finished. I have the salmon and the rice in here, so I just need to add avocado and the sauce when I'm ready. Addie is ready to get out of her high chair. We are having a little bit of a snack time right now after naps. Um, and today we need a bath. Like we said earlier, Ben went in to go get his cavities done today and he is still there. His appointment, they asked him to come in early at 1.30. He probably got there at like 1.40, but it is four, almost 4.15 right now. And I don't know what's going on. I've tried to text him, he's not answering me. I don't know if he's still there. I'm just confused. I'm really confused as to why it's taking so long and why he's still there. So I'm waiting on his call till, oh my gosh, whoo, to let me know that he's okay. Oh, I think daddy's calling. Call has been forwarded to an automate. Hello? Hi. Are you okay? We're, what's going on? Wait, actually, what's going on? Wait, does it actually hurt? Ben, don't freak me out. Okay, oh, first of all, I don't want this to freak you out. Um, so they have to like, put a shot into each, like, Oh my goodness. I'm not too sure exactly what Katie recorded like when I was actually at my dentist appointment But they pretty much texted me and was like hey like we had a cancellation Would you like to come in early and of course I was like yes, please let's get this out of the way I've had feelings in the past and I think that it was just so long ago that I kind of forgot like how much not pain it is, but just like very uncomfortable. Essentially what they did was I had cavities in all f the farthest back molars um, in all four of corners of my teeth. Turns out later, like when she actually went to like drill into my teeth, I could still feel it. She was like, you just metabolized it extremely fast and like we just need to give you more. So she had to go back into all four corners of my mouth again and give me another shot. And then we had to wait until I, I was numb enough. And then she started drilling and these teeth were totally fine. She said that they were barely a cavity and it was like, she, she drilled them out extremely fast. But then she got to these two over here, I could feel it. And she was like, is it hurting? Or like, what does it feel like? And I was like, honestly, it just feels like really sensitive. Like it feels like there's like a bunch of nerve endings that you're hitting. And turns out that these two cavities were actually relatively deep and they didn't really know that they were gonna be that deep. It was excruciating pain. Like it was, it was a lot. Like it was very uncomfortable. I was like tensed up. I was laying like this and like flexing the entire time. This might be kind of like TMI, but when I got out of that chair, when they were done doing everything that they, they were doing, I went to the bathroom because I hadn't gone to the bathroom and I was there for like three hours and my back was wet. And I was like, what is that? And I took a picture of it and it was sweat. My entire back was sweating because I was flexing and like, just like bearing down. For the rest of the day yesterday, I didn't eat a single thing. It was just a lot. And the thought of like actually like eating something and like crunching down on it was just terrible. So Katie actually went to Smoothie King and like got me like a giant like high protein smoothie. I'm feeling so good today. Um, only time it hurts is like if I open my jaw all the way. Um, but other than that, like my feelings feel fine. There's no sensitive or soreness with them. So glad I got that out of the way. Obviously it sucked doing that, but I think that that was a good like little reality check for me to be like, okay, great. I'm like you're an adult now. You really need to take care of your teeth. Katie was like, now I'm nervous. And I was like, honestly, the best thing that you're doing is Katie's getting laughing gas and looking back on it. I was kind of making fun of her a little bit for it. hundred percent. Next time I'm getting laughing gas. I'm getting whatever you can do. Just give it to me. I don't care. Don't want to feel that again bless you um and katie's actually doing like two and two like splitting them up and i feel like that would have helped me in regards to like my jaw hurting so bad okay anyways we are here at target and girls what are we doing Get what? 
<laughs> what? It is actually Rowan's birthday. Today? No, not today. Let's hold hands across the street. So it's like freezing cold today, of course, because we live in Colorado, and I'm so done with it. I'm so done with it. But um, this is a good way of like knocking out two birds with one stone because if we don't get out and it's cold, then the girls are just a little bit more grumpy and just not in the best of moods. Ella, what did you just say? What are you looking for? Coffee. The coffee? Yeah, Starbucks is on the other side of the store. Are you used to getting Starbucks with mommy when you come? Huh. What did you pick out for Rowie? A, a princess dress? Uh -huh. That is awesome. Here, can I have it? I'll put it in the cart. Or you can put it in the cart. Put it in there. You, you want to give that to her? Awesome, we know that Rowie loves some bluey, so Ella picked out this. Mission complete, we have picked out her presents. Now I'm just gonna kinda let the girls just kinda walk around and hang out. So you girls playing? Uh -huh. I want a suitcase. You want a suitcase? Are you gonna run away? Go show mommy what you got. Wow, A.B., I cuddled your blanket the, the whole, whole time. time. Oh. Because what she's, what she told you to keep it safe and cuddle with it? Yes, the whole time. I'm sure you'd never put it down. i never put it down once. Not once. That is so cool, you guys. Ben told me to film myself. He says he hasn't talked about it, but I don't know why he needs me to film myself yet. And open. Here's one. I got like a legit puzzle. puzzle. Okay. Because I want, like, you know how Ella loves doing puzzles. Yes. And I feel like it'd be good for, like, just, like, fun to, like, sit okay. down. Okay. Yeah. You know, because, like, since we're going to, like, start, like, school and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, maybe yeah. This, like, no, that's a great idea. I like, like instead of, like, maybe, like, a couple days a week or whatever it is, like, I can do more, like, because the way I learn is, like, hands-on kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe I could do, like, a puzzle or. Okay. You, you got Legos, didn't you? <gasps> but I didn't get, like, a specific, like, build this kind of thing. It's, it's just more of, like, a free, like, look, there's almost 800 pieces in there. Wow. And there's a book of like ideas where you can like build little houses and stuff. But I don't know, like I loved Legos as a kid. Uh -huh. And I feel like it's just like so beneficial for like brain and like function and like creativity. I think that's cool. So yeah, I got like little things to like Don't help. mind my uh... Yeah, yikes. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody has their thing. Yeah, so I got some little things that like, I think it would be a benefit to them. No, yeah, that I, I love that. I would enjoy like sitting down and doing, like instead of like drawing or doing Play-Doh, like I could sit down with Ella, and I'm sure she would look for things. hours to just like yeah. build things or like do a puzzle. I and love it, that. As Avery gets yeah. up, this is four to ninety nine. If you hit hundred years old, then you can't play with Legos. <laughs> okay, my hair's a mess. It's a little bit later. The girls woke up from their nap. Katie's actually tired, so I think she's gonna take a little nap, and she's gonna try to nap with Addie. Actually, so curious on how that goes. Stop it. Okay, stop, stop, stop. We're all sharing. We're all sharing. Each one of you can pick out what you want to make. Somebody can make a pretty pink house. Me. Me. You want to make a pretty pink house? I want to. Here, we can find something it. else for you, or maybe we could try that one too. Let's see what else we have that we can pick. I want to. I want to. Do you want to make? Do you want to make a motorcycle? Yeah, and I want to make this. You want to do that? Uh huh. Okay. Okay, well we're just running around. That's why Ella has like red stuff all over her face because we're running around being crazy. But we forgot to show your Legos. What did you build first? The house. You built the house, so we built the house. And then the cake. You built the house and the tree and all this with like all the and pretty the flowers. Oh, just a minute. It will Avi can show hers. Just a minute. Okay, so then we built this little kitty cat. I think I don't know if it's a kitty cat or a dog, but Ella's calling it a kitty cat, which is totally fine. But look at how cool this is. Has a little door, has these windows open. And this is just awesome. And I would just like to say, Ella, you did this almost all by yourself. Because Daddy was helping both you and AV. This like Lego set has like 800 pieces in it or whatever. And obviously this it was- a cool piece. Yeah, obviously it was a little bit color coordinated just cause we just had, we had just now opened it. But Ella did find, I would probably say 80% of her pieces and if she needed help, she would find them, but the, the better part was the fact that she would look at the piece of paper and like see where to put them and she would put them on the structure itself. So she did amazing. Honestly, Avery did incredible too. I asked her, I taught her like the whole like counting of how many the little circles on the like the Legos to see like which pieces matched. And Avery did really good, especially for being two, two years younger than Ella. This is what, this is what they're doing out here. <laughs> mommy is, mommy is fighting these girls. The girls are attacking mommy. Yeah. 
This is what's happening. Man, they're going for it. <laughs> Avery is very clearly preoccupied, but Avery did amazing, like I said, um, and she built an orange and red castle. It looks so cool. It's like a giant gate in front of it, and then she also built this so like this really cool like police motorcycle. I think it is. Thank you.